Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Firex Fred. Today we're going to be having on Lost Temple here in the left, in the 9 o'clock position, 9 o'clock-ish position. Mouse Nova it says here, but I believe it's Mouse Mana. That's what the replay file says, so that's what I'm going to go with. Mouse Mana, of course, on the team. Mouse Sports, um, along with likes of Nama. Actually, Nama just left Mouse Sports, the team Mouse Sports, so that's some pretty big news. Um, and who else is on that team? Mouse Straylock is also a very, very tip-top player. So Nama over here in the left, and over here in the right, in the 3 o'clock position, we have Root Cats, the co-leader of the Root team. He leads that along with Druby, I believe. Uh, Root Druby, of course. And they have a lot of great, great players over here in North America. They have uh, the likes of... QXE, Root QXE, of course, and Root Druby, Root Cats. Um, I cannot think of the other ones right now, but there are definitely more, and they are very, very good. Dodoro, Root Dodoro, he is a very good, good Protoss player. And now we just see a little bit of scouting around from both players, of course. This Overlord saw that this position is not actually occupied, so it definitely is going to have to be one of these two. That is what our, 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 well, I was going to say our SCV friend, but that actually means nothing. Um, our Zerg friend, that's what he knows at this point. The gateway going down at the very standard time, as well as that assimilator. And we don't see any assimilator just yet for cats, but he is going to throw down this hatchery, first of all, on 15. And then he's going to get another drone and get probably a spawning pool on 15, but... It looks like first he's going to have to deal with this pylon that Mana has just put down at the bottom. It is a very nice placement here as you can't get a lot of surface area from any sort of drones or any zerglings that are going to be able to try and take that out. But oh man, he's going to lose the probe. That's actually big if he's really trying any sort of forge play. But we don't see a forge going down just yet. So that was cancelled. Uh, those drones didn't actually take it out. And the spawning pool goes down, but very, very late on that spawning pool. Oh, the probe actually dies. That's pretty huge. Um, I mean, not not game-changing, but definitely Mana's going to be in the dark just a little bit more here, unless he wants to pull another probe. And, of course, that would be a lot of mining time missed out that he could have, you know, that he could have had. Now Cat's taking this Zelnaga Watchtower, moving his Overlord into place. This Overlord probably going to sweep around to over this side of the base here. More pylons being warped in. No sort of... Actually, mana a little bit supply blocked right now. He's not able to build anything until this pylon comes in. And Root Cat's just droning up, droning up. He does have a spawning pool now. I expect to see a couple of queens coming out when he gets some money for it. There's one queen. And now we see a Stalker being Chrono boosted out for Al oh, and a very, very quick Twilight Council right here for mana. I saw the outline of that before I knew, before I, you know, before anything else. So, a phone, okay, sorry, go. It looks like this, there was some sort of a pause during this game. Now this probe coming in, going to check out what is going on over here in the Casa de Cats. And pretty, pretty standard stuff. Just a lot, a lot of drones. Let's actually take a look at the income tab. 21 to 20 at this point. But he's, of course, with these lav larva, uh, larva injects, he's going to be able to produce a ton, a ton of drones in just a second here. And this cybernetic score not being re uh, not being chrono boosted out. The research for the warp gates, not being chrono boosted out very much. But this blink that is coming down from the twilight council is being chrono boosted right now so it looks like it's going to be a sort of a blink rush though only on three gates we see so far uh we do we see we used to see a lot of this actually from pro stress players against zerg it's very very hard to deal with uh if you if they get a pylon say like right here then they can warp in their blink stalkers right right next to your base and just do so much damage spine crawler is going down just out of safety for cats he feels a little bit uncomfortable probably wants to be spitting on these hatcheries as much as possible he's already getting ahead in the harvester count though we actually see another queen coming out just to spread that creep i really like that sort of play coming in from players uh we've been seeing it a lot more recently and i think it's very very good so still this blink just being chrono boosted out, a lot of stalkers being made, not even a single uh, not even a single zealot here to block off this little space. I believe there is a little space there. Let's take a look there. Yeah, there is a little space where a, a single zealot or a probe or a stalker can fit through. 
or a ton of Zerglings can actually fit through there. So you might want to plug that up. But let's take a look at the Harvester tab. 36 drones to 23 probes. And another queen is actually coming out for cats. So I kind of like that play. Um, we don't see a Roach Warren or anything coming down. So this is going to be actually a very, very scary push. One queen is already going to go down very quickly. And there are no units out for cats right now. He has 25, he has one Zergling to his name right now, and the Spinecrawler and these couple of Queens just keeping him alive for the moment, and a lot of Zerglings hopefully will be pumped out very soon, and uh, he's going to be forced to pull probes, to pull drones to actually have to deal with this, and then these Zerglings are going to come out, but it's not going to be enough, he's going to have to really, really be pumping any, all the sort of Zerglings that he can get, he doesn't have that layer out, so he could get some more tech, but it doesn't look good for him, look at the army tabs right now, 1250-500 to only 450 of cats. And we see a Hydralist end coming down as well as a couple more Zergens, but he's going to lose a lot of drones in the meantime. And these drones really are getting a nice around on those stalkers, but of course they can blink out with a forward pylon here anywhere. This push would be very, very much more effective for mana. And now we see these very, very weakened stalkers being forced to retreat as a couple of Zerglings are going to be able to hold off this attack for now. But we see a couple more stalkers being warped in right now. We do see still only three gates. And no expansion yet. Looks like Mana was going to try and expand, but he didn't expect probably to deal so much damage to cats in the beginning there. Let's take a look back at the income tab, 23 to 34. So uh, cats even building more, more drones right now. It's like the worst fear of any sort of Zerg player when you think that the attack is done and then they immediately come back and you've just been droning up using all your larva on drones. It's actually the worst feeling in the world. And that Hydra lift end should be out. It is done right now, so he could be pumping out those Hydras pretty soon. He has a decent amount of Zerglings, but there are some Zealots now in the mix. It's going to make these Zerglings a lot less useful, but in getting it in a nice angle there, not a lot of them are engaging on these Zealots. That is exactly how you want to engage a Protoss army, and these Zealots need to be getting into the battle. Drones are being forced to pull, pull again, uh, being pulled yet again, 18... Zerglings are on the way at the moment right now though. Don't lose those Zerglings. You need all of the Zerglings you can get. I'm probably going to try and get a nice surround with these drones and these Zerglings are going to flank around from behind. And we see seven Hydralists on the way. They're going to be able to clean up when they pop out but so much damage is actually being done by mana right now. Uh, drones just dying over and over and over. He's being forced to pull them out over and over but still so ahead in the drone count 32 to 23 right now as more and more drones are being taken out though these hydralis, hydralis are about to pop out and they're going to probably be able to uh, make mana back off a uh, nice tran transfusion there to save one of those and actually that is so many stalkers they're going to be able to take out this many hydralis if they really just turn around and fight and these drones are going to be forced to pull again and it doesn't uh, it's very very close but it looks like cats is going to be able to hold this off Blinking out those weakened stalkers. A couple more stalkers over here. Still no expansion, though. Uh, we do see that the harvester count has very, very much evened out, though. 25 to 23. 25 drones, of course, to the 23 probes of our Terran buddy mana over here. So take a look back at the production tab. We do see these grooved spines coming out now, as well as a couple of zerglings. And we see an overseer coming out. Uh, a little bit of damage being done to those stalkers right now, but those zealots are going to be able to drive off these zerglings. Maybe a little bit of a counterattack there. No, not too much. This creep being spread yet again, I really like that. That is something you always have to remember to do once things settle down a little bit, or if you're good enough, during the heat of combat you can be still spreading that creep, but it is something so, so hard to do. Still, we just see three warp gates as Mana was actually just not producing probes that entire time. He's still sitting on 23 probes, so he has no intention of even doing anything right real quick, and a little bit of an engagement down here. Hydralis going to be able to probably clean this up as well as these Zerglings tanking all the damage that they can. More Hydralis being morphed in right now as well as 10 Zerglings. Three Stalkers being warped in here in the main base. He knows that he's not going to be able to pressure this anymore. And now Hydralis marching slowly, slowly across the field. This is a little dangerous. He probably needs to take these guys with him as well. But this is a little dangerous as once you attack with your Hydralis, they're actually just so slow that you can't really get away, especially, especially against Blink Stalkers. Blink Stalkers are just going to be able to chase you down if you try and retreat at all. But of course, these army looking very scary for cats right now. Uh, Hydralis do so, so well against Stalkers, even with that Blink. Uh, even with that blink, and they do have a nice blink there, right up to the high ground. 
Katz is going to see this, that there is no expansion yet, and he's actually probably going to be very, feel very safe. I would probably just back up if I were him, uh, drone up a little bit, keep building units, and just just be satisfied to know that my opponent has not yet taken his other base. And meanwhile, Mana has produced one extra probe. That's right, a, an entire extra probe. One Hydra that's almost going down, down to four life, but a nice blink there from Mana getting those guys back up to the top of his ramp so that they're not going to be able to be hit. If Katz does try to just break this ramp, he'll probably die because the high ground advantage is just so good in this situation. And now we see 30 drones to the 24 probes of mouse mana. And Katz doesn't look like he's going to want to build any more drones, building one more drone every now and again, but mostly just using all of his gas to get those hydralisks as well as, oh, we see a dark shrine coming down for mouse mana and <laughs> a great uh great great overload placement here from root cats a little bit of a push there from cats and he actually probably wants to run away like i was saying though these hydralists are going to be so slow he's probably just going to blink out and take them all out that is the danger of moving out with all of your hydralists they're so so slow but it looks like cats is just going to move forward with two of the bravest hydralists i have ever seen in my entire life and now a couple more hydras are going to be able to come in and reinforce but like i was saying right here before cats actually has this overlord here sees the dark shrine he does have an overlord or an overseer now with his main army and that is going to be not very bueno for our friend mouse mana over here take a look back at the income tab only 25 to the 34 drones of root cats and he does have the two bases remember so pretty soon this base is going to be completely mined out four mana and he's not going to be able to do anything still just the three gates is what he's sitting on uh, i don't know why he hasn't built any more probes up until now that you i mean if you're just sitting on like 24 probes 23 24 probes you can't really be doing anything other than just you know building units off of three gates and now this these dark templates are coming in but the overseer is right there hydralists are going to be able to take those out so so quickly and zerglings just just chomping down on these dark templar that is not the way you want to go if you are a dark templar actually it's not the way you want to go if you are anything in the entire world now 16 more zerglings coming in Rootcats has no intention of building any more drones. He knows he is far enough ahead that he can just build units and win this game at this point. This last, oh, this last Dark Templar is going to go down. It goes down, and now it looks like a big scary push going to be coming in for Rootcats. What does Mana have at home to deal with this? He has five Stalkers that just blink down to the high ground to waste their cooldown. And a and actually, they wasted their cooldown at a very inopportune time, but they're going to have it back right now. One Sentry as well as all that mouse mana has to his name and i don't think that is going to be enough he could try to warp in a couple dts and maybe try and pick off that that overseer with the blink ability and that could buy him a little bit of time but i don't think it is going to be enough aspire is now on the way for root cats and he's going to be able to engage right here and these hydralists are going to be able to do so much damage and a nice flank coming in from these zerglings and there is the gg from mouse mana so we saw we saw mana just very very much all in and you see this is a very good example of how an all in it really has no backup that's the definition of, that's the best definition that is of an all in where you really don't have anything that you can do to follow it up as you could see it was just very awkward the way that mana was trying to uh, sort of get down this expansion while putting a little bit of pressure but really not being able to do anything and Katz was just you know happy to just be barely ahead and know that he had that little bit of an advantage he wasn't trying to go for an extra base I would have liked to see that he did have this hydralist taking down those rocks ballerist hydralist there is but of course that is so that it's one of the uh that just shows you a little bit of an all-in there from mouse mana and it does not pay off in the long run so Thank you guys so much for watching. You can take check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash firexfredtv if you want to see more of my videos. And thank you again so much for watching.